people so i've been getting a few questions on my previous video regarding the apk installation failure fx so in that video i've been getting questions regarding uh, the install parse certificates or uh, the various problems that people are encountering while running their apk files so what happens is this error is encountered by both people who are beginners in AP Android app development and when they are trying to export their APK file and when they export their APK file by the method that is usually going to file then exp uh, clicking on export and you know doing stuff and when they are exporting creating a key store and then when they are exporting they find this error. Other people who are encountering this error are those people who are just you know uh, have a working APK and they are just uploading their apk to google drive or dropbox and when someone downloads it from there like some uh, someone else or let's say even they download it so they find this error okay that is a parsing error or something else so the solution to that problem that is when you upload to dropbox or google drive and when they are downloading it you find some parsing error so the solution is simple just upload your files to foreshare.com or Mediafire, I highly recommend Mediafire instead of Google Drive or Dropbox because what happens is as I see some of the people are actually encountering this problem because uh, Google Drive and Dropbox, Dropbox specially encrypts the APK file so b because of that uh, there is valid decryption and you know when you're downloading it and when you're extracting it what happens is uh, you actually encounter some problems with the parsing so I highly recommend Mediafire, it doesn't do Dutch stuff and I have checked it with my uh, own team when I was making my own uh, apps and all. So just try that, use Mediafire, okay. So that's the thing that I want to mention. So I'll just write it that use Mediafire instead of Dropbox for transferring APKs alright so it's simple so that is one fix for those people who are who have a running who are working APK for those who who find problems uh, just after they are you know exporting the APK file and trying to create a key store I have several, several solutions on my website but let me just clarify in this video okay so I just click on the new Android application and create an application just in front of you so that you know you you, you are uh, just create a hello world app okay not a difficult one right hello world app uh, go next next keep everything default I'm just keeping everything default so that uh, you know I, I'll be able to show you what happens so create a new workspace or yeah better create a new workspace and create a simple app that is hello world and then what you do is you just go to uh, let it load and go to file again simply after it loads so once your project is loaded you can just go to file export android export android application browse uh, hello world is my app so basically create a new key store because a lot of times the key store that you have created in a previous app would be corrupted wouldn't be working so use this okay I have other options also but let me just clarify with this one first so let's just browse and uh, choose the location in which we want to store our key store so let's say it's on the, the desktop so I'll just call it a new key store all right new key store I'll just save it and then password I'll just keep on password hit next fill fill in this uh, information okay I'll just pause the video after you have filled in this information you can just head on to clicking next and choosing the destination of the APK file so I'll choose the desktop and here's our hello world .apk. all right hit finish but the most important thing here was creating the key store if you have problems with your key store then you need to actually create a new one like this with the hello world now you can use this key which you have created while exporting this apk file for running all your apks if it is working okay so test out this hello world apk after you have exported it and then use the same key store for running all your apps now i'll show you how to use the same key store 
uh, for running other apps so let me just show you first the key store that I created so here's the key store that I created okay now I can use the same key store for running all my apps so what you need to basically do is go to Eclipse again and while you're trying to export other apps let's say this is like another app and you're using with another app so just go to file again export and draw export Android application browse hello world uh, whichever app which is and then use existing key store check on this click browse and then select the new key store that uh, that I have created just choose your new key store and put down the password so it's in my case I've written that and again write the password choose the alias that you used hit next and you see the destination file already exists because I've exported it already but you can use the same key store for exporting all your apps okay again again click finish and export it so that's the that's how you actually use the same key store for running all your apps if this app is working okay so I'm not going to run it in front of you right now because uh, just you know uh, bring it uh, bringing everything uh, in one single video and I do not have time for that okay if you want to see uh, this method working pretty well you can watch the previous video the link for that is in the description okay don't worry about it okay so so this the solution that I told right now for developers yeah if, if for those who are having problems uh, having the error after right after right after exporting apk let's create a new key store with a simple hello world app the next solution that i'm going to recommend to you is downloading a, a latest version of ADT bundle okay so a lot of times if you have an old ADT bundle uh, you might encounter these problems you can download the latest uh, you know version I saw that most of my issues which exist in the previous version have been getting rid of so you can try the new version of ADT bundle and uh, I think it will be working pretty well so that's that's about this now if you are having problems every time you're trying to export your APK and you do not have a working uh, key store I can give you a working key store I do have a working key store all right and I have uploaded it on my website if you can I'll just show you the link this is my website I mean my blog where I have written uh, my stuff so here you'll find the solution to the APK file the same error all error fixes for developers as well as for those people who are trying to transfer the APK files of the Google Drive you can read it once the link for this particular page is in the description again so as you can see here is the link for downloading my key store which I use for my apps I mean I do not use it for my apps but it is a working key store and uh, which you can try and test your apps the password is Android as I have mentioned that's about this uh, key store so if if you are not having problems uh, with exporting your APKs with this key store then you can you know um, create a new key store properly because your key store is corrupted okay or use this key store if you want uh, if you are just trying to test your apps okay so that's about this and I've written some other solutions you can just go to this link and try it out okay but I guess I have covered all of those okay so yeah thanks for watching if you have any more problems just comment in the description and again there is another there is another solution if you want to find your default debug key store you can just head on to uh, windows preferences android build right and if you click on build you will find uh, you will find default debug key store so here's my default debug key store location okay so you can find yours uh, by going to windows preferences android and build and the password by default is android this is the default debug key store which you get uh, well you know getting your ADT bundle and stuff while set up, setting up everything so you can try exporting the apk file with this also okay so uh, many times this does not exist for a few users because they might have you know deleted this key store you know, because of some issues so if 
you are having problems with that you can just go to my uh, blog and download this key store it's fully safe that's it's div share link actually so it's fully uh, it's fully safe and you can try it out password is android okay so yeah thanks thanks for watching if you have any issues any problems just comment below and i'll answer that okay yeah thanks for watching hit like if i if, if it helped you okay